this time we won't disappoint and renewal is real. Our agenda is renewal and our agenda remains renewal and in the process if we create enemies history will apologize on our behalf. Comrades, we are coming to the end of this important session with nothing else but the determination to reposition the African National Congress as a better vehicle, a better option to better the lives of our people. We close this session determined that we are on the path that will declare the African National Congress and its membership a vehicle of the people, a representative of the people, but quite clearly a parliament of our people. Comrade President, we want to thank you and your team, not only for schooling us, not only for reminding us where we come from, but for beautifully articulating the challenges that face the African National Congress. We also want to thank our alliance partners, our national leadership, who also assisted us to go through this difficult process. Comrades, we are not doing this for the sake of doing it. We are doing this because we are respecting the voices of our voters and the voices of our people. We can't lose elections in the manner that we have lost them and it becomes business as usual. We can't lose the elections in the manner that we have lost them and we don't internalize the sudden displeasure registered by voters and our members in terms of the path that we have taken or we are taking as the ANC. So in the last two weeks, sorry, in the last two days, we were guided. In the last two days, we were provided with evidence. In the last two days, we were given possible solutions and the options that we need to take to reclaim the center of our revolution. Unfortunately, it calls for tough decisions. Unfortunately, it calls for the strengthening of our structures. Unfortunately, it calls for us to engage with various sectors of society, even those that don't love us. But most importantly, it calls for us to go for hard work and commitment that will be accelerated because we know what we want to achieve. And we've been warned, and I want to restate some of the warnings that have been placed. Never ever do this analysis wearing factional lenses. Never ever do this analysis to protect your friends and those that are close to you. Never ever do this analysis purely because you want to protect the resources of the state to only be utilized for those that are closer to leadership and those in charge of government on the political leadership. And we should accept these warnings, comrades. And we should embrace these warnings that the process of renewal and the process of realignment and the process of strengthening our movement it's a process that is not going to be easy. We have to change our attitude. We have to change our ethics, our ethos. We have to change so many things that we are now used to do, all of us knowing them, that some of them are actually wrong. And comrades added in the advice that the elimination of money in the election of leaders 
must not only come to an end but must be eradicated completely. That those that use resources to manipulate outcomes in the ANC, that those particular people must no longer be glorified. It was stated in this house, we might have taken it lightly, that not everyone that wears a special golf shirt can be declared leadership. <laughs> and that when we declare a leader a leader, it must be of their deeds, their commitments, but most importantly, their capability to unite all of us. So we live here, comrades, not only re-energized, we live here to continue to search for answers. That this noble movement that defended our people, this noble movement that brought democracy, this noble movement that had these leaders of impeccable credentials, it can be overnight be a wrong movement. That this particular movement should remain the vehicle that our people can trust, a vehicle that can bring a better life for all. So in the last two days, we have accepted the wrongs. In the last two days, we have accepted the need to renew. In the last two days, we have committed ourselves to do good and do good at all times. I'm told to do good means even if you are alone, even someone is not watching you, you must continue to do good. But Comrade President, President Awombegi declares this, where you lead, you must demonstrate quality service delivery. That where you lead, you must ensure that you improve the lives of our people. Comrade President, we accept this challenge. We can't be a movement that loses the middle class. We can't be a movement that loses the support of students. We can't be a movement that loses the support of working class. We can't be a movement that loses the support of hostel dwellers, and we remain the same. And therefore, we need to go all out to go and render services to our people. We can't inherit Alexander Township the way it is and make it worse under democracy. We can't inherit Macau's informal settlement and leave it the way it is. We can't know about Madala hostels and leave Madala hostels the way it is. Or take a Johannesburg CBD that had a thriving Carlton Center but have a bad Carlton Center under our watch. So we state our commitment to improve service delivery. We state our commitment to build better health facilities, and we state our commitment to ensure our children get quality education and that local government plays its role as local government. In summary, we are saying we'll do what government must do and render quality services. So thank you so much, Comrade President. Thank you so much. We're at your mercy to be schooled and that you did. We're at your mercy to be guided that you have done brilliantly. And we can correctly, and all of us, as we close this session, indicate that indeed ANC is a servant of our people. We remain ANC. We remain determined to defend the existence of the ANC, we remain resolute that Iye Yotwa Ipeti Agenda, Iye Yotwa Ipeti Freedom Charter, and it remains black, green, and gold, and it remains the African National Congress. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.